Okay, so I'm going to graph this one real quick. You always start with the last number. So begin with going down 2, and then you rise 7, run 2, okay, from your starting point. Rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, run 2, and there's your point. And let's do this one. Your starting point is plus 3, 1, 2, 3. From there, you rise 6, negative 6, run 1. So rise negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, run positive 1. There's your line. Okay, scroll down and do another one now. Now this one, if you want to put it in mx plus b form, you can. y equals 0x's, because they didn't have an x there, and then minus 5. So that means begin at negative 5, which is right here. Rise 0, run 0. You don't go anywhere. Basically, this means the only thing the line will touch is a y. And it touches the y at negative 5. It never touches the x because there's no x in the equation. Let's come over to this one. Begin at plus 1. And then you run, rise 6, run 5. Okay, rise 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, run 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, or if you want to, you can put negative 6 over negative 5 because a negative over negative is a positive number. So we can run negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, run negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Still the same line. And you can keep going up forever. Rise 6, run 5, rise 6, run 5, and it'll keep going up forever. Okay, do two more. This one says you begin at plus 2. Remember, the number on the end is always your starting point. And from there, you rise 1, run 4. Rise 1, run 1, 2, 3, 4. Rise 1, run 1, 2, 3, 4. Rise 1, run 4. It's going to keep doing that. Okay? If you want to, you can put a negative in, both, in front of both of them. Rise negative 1. Run negative 4. There. Rise negative 1, run negative 4. Still the <coughs> same line. Okay? This one, there's only an X. There's no Y. So that means it never touches the Y axis. It only touches the X axis at 5. That's an easy one. Okay? Real easy. Scroll down, I'm going to do a couple more. Okay, this one, there's no number on the end here. Okay, there's no starting place. So you just start at zero. Okay, because you can put plus zero or minus zero, whatever you want to on the end there. Rise five, run three. Rise five, run three. Or you can put minuses on both of them. Rise negative five, run negative three. Still the same line. This one says it only touches the x-axis at 0. So x-axis looks like this. Ooh, you know what? I messed up on that one. It has to pass through the x-axis at 0. So it's right here. Okay. And if you can't remember which one it is, then draw another example. I'm going to try x equals 2. x equals 2 means find 2 and draw a line. So that tells me, that reminds me, oh yeah, it goes straight up and down. Uh -oh. Okay. And do these two now. Begin at plus 3. And from there, there's a negative. So I can put the negative with the 1 or... I can put it with the 3, but I can't put it in both places. I have to choose. So let's do this one first. Rise negative 1, run positive 3. Or I can do this one. Positive 1, negative 3. Doesn't matter because it's still the same line. 
Okay, and you can keep doing that. Rise one, let's see, negative one, three. Negative one, three. It's still going to keep being on that line forever. Okay, and then this one, begin at what? We begin, yeah, at negative four. Good. So begin at negative four, and then we rise how much? Five. And remember, it's always rise over run. So rise one, run five. Rise one, run five. There's our line. Okay. Where do I begin on this one? What's my starting point? Negative two. Good. Negative two. And then what do I do? Rise. Go up one uh -huh. over two. Perfect. We just graphed a line, Darius. Okay. Where do I begin? Five. Yep. Begin at five. And then what? There's no number on the bottom, so one. good. You go up two and over one. Get up two over one. Good. And if you want to, you can put negative two over negative one. And that means down two over one. Still the same line. Okay, you've got this down. How do you feel about this? Good? Okay. So the thing is, is you're going to get some crazy looking equations. You might get stuff like this. 3x plus 2y equals negative 8. You have to rearrange it so that the y is first. Okay, y's got to be first, and then the x, and then the number, and we'll get into that tomorrow. So I'm going to stop sharing.